Happy Saturday morning. This is laid off lesson number 25. Yeah, we've had a lot of these, haven't we? Yeah, number 25. And this one's about doing your research or doing your homework before that first contact with the company you're interacting with. Before you have that first contact, that first phone call, maybe even before you reach out with the first email, do your research on the company. If they're a public company, there is loads of information about them. There's the annual report. Every quarter, there's a bunch of analyst calls they have and analysts do assessments on the company. And if you look at the annual report, there's two areas to look at. One is the president's letter to the shareholders, where he talks, where he or she, the president, talks about uh, what the company has accomplished and, and hopefully what the plans are going forward, what their top priorities are. But take a look at the risk section. Everybody in the annual report is required to document the risks to their plan. And that's where the gold is. These are the things they're worried about. Now, the reason why this is important is I'm gonna go back to an earlier lesson where I had you write a document, a three-part document, where your first part was to list the things that you love to do and hopefully do well. Number two was, what is that worth to people? That is, what is the value proposition of what you do well to people? And the third point is your credibility, your proof points. Take what you did there and map that to the risks the companies have. If a company has mentioned a risk in an annual report or anywhere else in an analyst call, that's gold. And when you have that conversation now, tie what you know you do well, your value proposition to that problem. People aren't gonna just hand you a job. Well, they might hand you a job, but it may not be the job you want. What you're gonna have to do is architect your own job. Take a look at that problem, tell them how you can help, and you will dramatically have increased your value to the organization. And then what happens in the process is if you do get that opportunity, it's no longer a job, it's now a mission. And we all would rather work on a mission than work for a job. Anyway, lesson number 25, do your homework and leverage the work you did earlier. Cheers.